Hey, Clint. Hi. Oh, you know what? I bet you have to give the bottle to Kenny. So to you're drink. probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. <laughs> what? Are you saying it smells? No. Cause it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. No one really sees it anyways. Plant if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? Yeah, of course. I don't believe you. <laughs> well, good. Good? Means you know when someone's lying to you, which is another valuable survival skill. So you did kill someone before? Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. Doesn't even matter. Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay. I think I'm about done. I can probably tear these pieces back with some. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There. All set. Oh. <laughs> you look dumb. <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. You wear a hat anyways, Clementine. No one can tell. Okay, so, my thought process is that that whiskey is going to go to Kenny. Cause he, yeah, he definitely does not need the whiskey. I'll, uh, talk to you later, Kenny. I think he yelled out again, aren't I? Mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish you'd just leave me alone. Alright, time to give the guy his vodka. I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? No, I'm fine. Suit yourself. Wow. Mm. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. Aha. There we go. Okay, I guarantee you Kenny's going to want a drink. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. Yeah. Yep, figure what the yeah, hell. That'd help. Gosh, I don't understand why he couldn't just, uh... Thanks. It's like, he, you're not guarding the maps. There's no point in him doing that. Whatever. Oh, video game logic. We've got to go with it. It was me. Huh? Oh no. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault.
fuck for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend, that he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me. Kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. You still want to talk to me? Yeah, I do. I'm real sorry. Let's drop it for now, okay? What are you doing out here? I, uh, couldn't be back there anymore. I needed some air. Anything else? I was thinking about talking to Kenny. That's probably not a good idea. I'm dead serious about you keeping your mistakes to yourself. I can tell. You get why, right? I guess. You better. See ya. Yeah. Yeah. You tell Kenny you're dead. Hey, Ben. Hey. See ya. Yeah. Yeah, you, t you tell Ken he will flip a lid and just beat the crap out of you. H heck, I kind of want to beat the crap out of you. I, I would have much preferred hey, to keep Clint. the girl. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're going to do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is... You and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay. Well, if they're not, what happened to them? I'm sure they're okay. Yeah, it's best to stay positive. That's what Dad always says. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. A lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the M. M. something Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know. Oh. Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far- Oh, shit! Hold on, everybody! That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm. I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo! You keep screaming like that, and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly! Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. 
All right, let's do this. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I <laughs> guess you'll have to find out. That's comforting. Thank you guys for being so positive up there. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now? What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Look, you, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Well, this is <laughs> great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone, first day all of this happened. We've been together ever since. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. That train is awesome, though. That tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Okay. It's empty. Okay. This thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it. No nothing. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan or what? Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh, me? What? Oh, your people. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we are not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens? Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. This would create one hell of a fireball if we tried to blast through. So do we cut it down or do we go... Okay, well we can't go that way, so... I guess we're just going to climb up. I see something there, the yellow thing. Looks like a donut. That's about the only useful thing in here. I have still have no idea what the heck it is. Cut through it, maybe? I don't know. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Oh, I could cut through it. Yeah, well... Oh, 
I would say I could cut through with those, uh... Those cutters. I might have to go grab... I thought I had the cutters, though. Can I follow you over there? No. You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Man, this is actually a long episode. I mean, it's it's slow. It's got a slow pace. Survivors inside. Yeah. Somebody was doing some painting. Somebody was doing a lot of painting. It's all signs. I want, how do you get in? Okay, let's climb down the stairs, see if we can get inside this house. Oh. Hmm. It's a little dangerous. Clementine, dude, you let me do You should wait it. for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. But I see the this thing. I can't see in there. Oh, here. Here we go. Doesn't look like that thing's worked in years. Hmm. Let's talk to her, see if she has anything to tell us. We'll have to find a way in. That's it. We'll have to find a way in. Okay, so I'm assuming none of these windows work. That's not going to be a way in. Oh, we already know that sign. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. Imports. I have no idea if these signs have anything, or if these are like real things, or, or what, but. Okay. Okay, I can't get in there. 